a very good day to all of you. Computer Shiksha is supported by, as you all know, on the first day of the week, you all learn something new. And then in the next class, you revise what you had learned. So today, you will be revising what you learned in the previous class. Let us begin with the revision. Do you remember what you learned in the previous class? In the last class, you learned about options of the insert, format and tools menus. So here are some revision questions for you. What is an animated image? With the help of the animated image option, you can bring together all the pictures you have inserted on your slide to make one image and then you can view them one by one. Do you know what option you will need to use if you have to play an mp3 file or a video on your impress slide? If you need to play an mp3 file or a video on your impress slide, then you will use the movie and sound option of the insert menu. Can you tell if you can cut your drawing made on the impress slide using the crop option? No, you can use the crop option only after you have inserted a picture on your impress slide and you want to crop or cut a part of that drawing using the crop picture option. In order to check your spellings, which shortcut command can you use? In order to check the spellings, you will use the F7 command. Can you tell in which Mino bar of the impress will you find the options for text, area, line, styles and formatting? You will find these options in the format menu. Can you tell what is the color replacer? With the color replacer, you can select a color of your picture and change it to a color of your liking. Do you know why is the minimize presentation used? With the help of this option, you can reduce the size of your presentation file. You can compress your images and can see a summary of your impress presentation. Now, all of you switch on your computers and open the impress file. And let us now begin today's class. In today's class, you will all revise what you learned in the previous class. First of all, from the layout Select the title slide layout and then type out the given line and copy paste it five times. If you face any problems, then learn from the video. In this video, we are going to quickly revise the copy paste option on the impress slide. So to copy paste uh, the text which is written on the impress slide, you need to first select the line or the text. You can use, you can select the text by any of the known methods to you. Once you have selected this, you can use the shortcut command control C for copy and control V for paste. As you can see, we have done control C once and then we have done control V many times to get many copies of the same text. You can also do copy and paste using the icons in the standard toolbar as you already know. So this is how you can copy paste. Now bring up a new slide and show how you will make use of the movie and sound option in the same. And then type out something about this. If you have a problem, then watch the video. Let us now practice the use of the movie and sound option. For this, 
we what we are going to do is we are going to insert a mp3 mp4 a, a video or any um, file media file on our slide so for this let's first get a new slide in our impress file click on the slide pane right click and then click on the new slide now this is a new slide here which is a title slide and in our title slide you can always use this option here which is for insert movie if you click on the insert movie option a box will open which will give you the location from where you want to insert the movie and then you can use this option however we are now practicing the use of the movie and sound option of the insert menu so let's click on the insert menu in the menu bar and from the options available click on the movie and sound option once you click there a box will open as you can see in the video and it will show you locations from where you want to insert your media file so let's see where our file is we can click on videos and in this there is sample videos click on that and within this there is a video called wildlife so let's pick this select this and click on ok once you click on ok you can see that that media or that video file gets inserted on your slide you can see it now now if you want to add a title or write something about it you can click in the title box and let's add a title we can type out the title let's say wildlife so we can type it out here wildlife also if you want to see the video and play it when you select this you can see a small mino bar for this media appears here and you can click on play or pause or stop buttons and use those to play this so this way you can use this option next go ahead and insert another slide and make it a summary slide for your presentation and then also show how you will expand the summary slide if you find some problems in doing this then watch the video and learn more about this let us watch this video and once again see how we can make a summary slide and use the expand slide for the summary slide we are inserting a new slide here so we have created a third new slide which is a title slide and in this slide also we are going to add a title so in place where it says click to add title we click there and we are adding a title here and we are writing computer shiksha now in this impress file we have three slides the first which has some text the second one which has a video with wildlife as the title and the third as a title slide having computer shiksha so if we want to make a summary slide of all these title slides we go to the insert menu click there and then click on the summary slide as soon as you click on the summary slide you can see that a new slide gets inserted the fourth slide which is a summary slide and this summary slide has all the slide titles from our impress file so this way you can create a summary slide which has all the titles of all the slides in the impress file now if you want that all these titles should appear on separate slides then you will use expand slide so go to insert and click on expand slide as soon as you click on expand slide you can see 
that your slides, the two titles get expanded into new slides. One is a slide with wildlife written on it and the other is a slide with computer shiksha written on it. So this way you can use the summary slide and the expand slide. Now all of you insert another new slide. Make sure that it is a blank slide and then show how you will make use of the animated image option in this slide. If you face problems, then watch and learn from the video as to how and why this is done. Let us watch this video now and once again see how we use the animated image option on our impress file slides. For this, we first insert a new slide, go to the slide pane, right click and then click on the new slide. Now, let's make this a blank slide from the layout option. Next, take your pointer to the Mino bar because we want to use the animated image option. Go to the insert Mino, click there and then click on the animated image option. A box opens for animation. Now come back to the slide and we need to insert pictures in the slide. So we go to insert option, Mino, click there and then click on picture option. Choose the from file option. Choose the pictures from any location where you have, you have pictures, click on open. You have the first picture. Now in the animation box, click on apply object. And you will see that this image has come in the animation box. Go back to the slide, delete the picture which was there. Go to insert Mino. Click again on picture from file option and then select another object. We have selected Lighthouse, click on Open. This picture also comes to the slide. Go to the animation box and click on Apply Object. So the Lighthouse picture also gets applied in the animation box. Come back to the slide, select the picture, delete it. Go back to the Insert menu, click on it and then click on Pictures and choose the From File option and select a different picture this time. We selected the desert option, the desert picture, click on open and this picture opens in your slide. As you can see in the video, again go to the animation box, click on apply object and the desert picture also gets applied in the animation box. Come back again to the slide picture, select it and delete it, go to insert again. Once again, picture option from file, select another picture from your location. Let's select this time the tulips. Click on open and the tulips picture comes on your slide. And when, when you click on apply object in the animation box, the Tulix picture also comes in your animation file or in the animation box. Once again, delete this picture from the slide by selecting it. Go to insert, go to picture, go to from file option and then again select another picture. This time we are selecting the koala. Click on open. This picture also comes here. Click on apply object. So now we have five objects in the animation box. Let's click on the create button, which is at the bottom of the animation box. And now, and when you go to the slideshow option by choosing the shortcut command F5, and then use the scroll down arrow. You can see all the images play one after the other. So this is how you will use the animation 
image option on your impress slides. You can come back to your main slide. Now, all of you insert another slide and then within it, show how you will use the option of position and size to change the position of the picture in it and also rotate the picture. Watch the video to know more about this. Watch this video now and see once again how we can use the position and size option. So first we have selected a new slide. We have added a new slide by right clicking and then clicking on new slide option. Now we want to create a drawing, an image here. So we use, go to the drawing toolbar, select an object, a pentagon and we drag this image here. Now we want to use the position and size option. So go to the format menu, click on it and select the position and size option. A box opens, select the tab for position and size. The first tab is for position and size, select that and you can change from the x axis as well as the y axis position on x position on y this is relative to the axis so using the up arrow and the down arrow you can increase or decrease the position you can also vary the size the width and the height again using the up arrow and the down arrow you can increase or decrease the width and the height the other option next option is for rotation so if you want to give an angle to your object, you can define that. For instance, here we have defined 20 degrees. Click on OK. And you will see that your object, the drawing that we had made, has also increased in size and is at 20 degrees from its original position. So this way you can use the position and size option on your drawings in the impress slides. Now show how you will use the line option on a picture or drawing. While you are doing this practice using all the options for line properties and all options for arrow styles. If you have a doubt, watch the video. Let us now watch this video and see how we use the line option. So for that, we first select from the drawing tool the line option and then let's drag a line on the slide on our impress file. So we drag a line and then we want to apply different options from the line menu. So we click on format menu and click on the line option. As soon as you click on the line option, you see the line op options box opens for line. The first tab is line and the first thing that you can do is change the style of the line that you have just drawn. So you can select any type of line that you like. For instance, we are selecting here the fine dashed line then next you can change the color of this line click on the drop down button and choose the color then you can increase the width of the line or decrease the width of the line the other things that you can do here are the arrow styles <clears throat> you can apply arrow heads at the ends of the lines both on the left side and the right side then you can increase or decrease the width of the arrowhead as is being shown here in the video and there are some other options also which you can use next is shadow you can apply a shadow on the line that you have drawn so click on use shadow and first option you have is for defining the position click on the dot 
on the side where you want the shadow to appear. Next option is for the distance. You can increase or decrease the distance where the shadow should appear from the line. And also change the color from this drop down box. The other options are for line style and arrow style. Using these, you can customize the line style and arrow style and add to your already available options. Once again, insert a new slide and show how you will use all the options of the area option to do some formatting on your slide. If you still have doubts about using these options, then do watch the video and then practice using them. Let us now watch this next video and see how we can use the area option and format our image or drawing using the area option. So we are selecting one of the shapes from the drawing toolbar. We want a new slide. So we go to the slide pane, right click on it, click on new slide. We get a blank slide. Now we have already selected a drawing tool. So we just drag our cursor on the slide to make this image or, or the object. Now we need to format this. So we will select it and then take a pointer to the format menu of the menu bar. Click there and click on area option. As you can see in the video, as soon as we click on the area option, a box opens for the area options. The first is for fill. So you can fill color or gradient, hatching, bitmap, whatever you choose. If you choose bitmap, then you can see there are various styles of bitmap. You can choose that, see it in the preview window and you can apply that. Also, there is this position. You can tell the system where you want to apply it. Next option is for op shadow. Click on use shadow. The first option here is for position. So you can define where the shadow should appear. Then you can increase or decrease the distance at which the shadow should appear and also choose the color of the shadow. The last one here is transparency, which you can increase or decrease. This will essentially increase or decrease the shade of the shadow. So it will be darker or lighter. The next option is transparency. The color that you have applied inside, if you choose transparency option, you can increase or decrease. So you can see that the color that you've applied inside will either become lighter or darker. If you choose gradient, you can choose things like the angle. If you want an angle of on the bitmap that you have chosen. You can also choose to apply borders and choose the other options, use the other options here. The next option is color and then gradient, hatching and bitmap. Using these, if you want to use a color or a gradient, hatching or bitmap of your own choice, which means if you want to customize that, you can use that and then apply that. Click on OK here and you will see that on the image, whatever choices we had made have got applied. So this is how you can use the area option to format your object or image in the impress slide in your impress file. Now look at the spellings in the picture in front of you and type the spellings in the same way on your slide and then show how you will use the spelling check to correct the mistakes. If you need help, then watch the video. Let us now watch this video and see how we can use the spelling and grammar option. Let's first insert a new slide by clicking on the slide pane, right click and then click on the new slide. 
we have changed this to the title format and in the contents box we are typing some words but we are typing them with the wrong spelling we are typing currency s c u r r e n c i instead of c u r r e n c y which is the correct spelling so the, since this is the wrong spelling you see a curved red line below it next we have typed software again it is wrong so there is a red line curved line appearing below it next word we are typing is extremely again the spelling is wrong and lastly we are typing another word called inability but we are typing it with the wrong spelling so all these words have these red lines underneath which are showing that this spelling is wrong now to correct these spellings using our computer we will click on the first word currency and then take our cursor or the pointer to the tools menu click there and the first option is for spelling click on that a box opens and it shows you that these words are not in the dictionary so the first word which is in red and the text language being used is english of usa so since this is a wrong word it shows you some suggestions now you have to select the correct word which you want to use and click on change the next wrong word gets highlighted in red which is software again it is showing you options for the correct word choose the correct word click on change and then the next wrong word is gets highlighted in red which is extremely choose the correct spelling click on change next word inability choose the correct one click on change and after it is complete click on okay so you can see all the spellings of the words have become the correct spellings now so this is how you will use the spelling option now all of you show how you can get a picture on any one of your slides and then show how you will use the color replacer option to replace a color from this picture if you have doubts about doing this then watch the video and use its help with the help of this video we are now going to learn the use of the color replacer so to use the color replacer we first insert a new slide click on the slide pane right click and then click on new slide and you can see it, since this is a title slide you can use this option here of insert picture so when you click there you can see where your pictures are on the computer and you can select one of these pictures for instance we have selected desert click on open and this picture gets inserted on your slide however since this is a title slide and we want it in a blank slide so we select this picture and delete it and then we can go to the layout option slide layout option and select a blank slide now to insert a picture we will use the insert menu click on insert click on picture and use from file and from wherever your pictures are stored you can select one picture click on open and the lighthouse picture comes on your slide now let's we want to replace the background color in this picture so we go to tools menu click there and click on color replacer option here you have a pipette kind a dropper kind of icon select that and then click on the picture the color which you want to replace so if you want to replace the background color of the rocks the dark color the blackish color click there and then where it says replace with option is there 
you can select from the first box click on the drop down button and select the color that you want to replace it with you can also increase or decrease the tolerance of this color so you can see the change happening and then click on replace and you will see that the blackish color of the background of the rocks gets replaced with this orange kind of color if you want you can again change the tolerance and click on replace again it will get applied so this way you can use the color replacer to replace the background color if you want to replace it again if you want to replace the orange color with the blackish color which was there earlier go to tools go to color replacer click on pipette click on the color that you want to replace and then replace with you can select the grayish or darkish color and click on replace and you will see that you have more or less the same color which was there in the original picture this is how you will use the color replacer option on your pictures or images in impress next show how you will add a spreadsheet on any one of your impress slides and also enter some data in it if you face a problem then learn from the video and see how this is used let us now watch this video and see how we can insert an spreadsheet a spreadsheet file on our slide so we have selected one of the slides in our impress file which is already there and we go to insert option click on object and from the options click on the ole object a box opens and you can see the different types of objects that you can insert chart drawing formula text and spreadsheet so we select open office spreadsheet and then click on okay and you will see that on the slide that we had selected a small spreadsheet appears which is just like our calc file you can do all the functions that you were doing in the spreadsheet file so you can enter some data if you like as is being shown in the video we are entering some numbers here 1 2 3 4 4 also if you want to enter some alpha alphabets you can do that also as is being shown here so you can use it as a normal spreadsheet if you click on the outside of the spreadsheet the numbers will remain but the spreadsheet will be not shown as you can see in the video here the numbers are being shown here if you click on it once more some green dots will appear and if you want you can use the delete button to delete the numbers that you had entered if you double click on it the spreadsheet will appear again as is being shown in the video now there is also a formula bar here and you can use the formula bar just like you would no normally use in a spreadsheet so if you want to apply the sum formula for instance in this cell we write equal to sum sum and then select the numbers for whom we want to have a total or get the sum 2 and 3 for instance close bracket and then press enter and you will get the answer here if you click on the outside only the numbers will remain the spreadsheet will not be there and you can see that the sum 6 the sum uh, is also being shown here which is 5 so this way you can insert a spreadsheet on any of your slides on the impress file next show how you will use the minimize presentation option and tell what happens with this watch the video in case of a problem with the help of this video let us now practice the use of the minimize presentation when we use the minimize presentation it compresses our files and gives us a duplicate file 
which we can use as per our need. So to use the minimize presentation, we go to the tools menu, click there and click on minimize presentation. Once you click on the minimize presentation, a box opens as is being shown in the video here and it gives you all the options. The first one is an introduction. In the bottom you have, you can choose the settings for the presentation minimizer. You can choose screen optimized, smallest file size. You can choose for projection. Click on next. And these are slides. The next button is for graphics, where you can have lossless compression. Lossless compression, you will not lose any resolution, but your files will become smaller. If you click on next, it's for OLE objects, create static replacement graphics for OLE objects, for all OLE objects or for OLE objects which you want to choose. Click on the next, choose where to apply. So apply changes to the current presentation or make a duplicate presentation. We are choosing duplicate, connect, then click on finish and it gives you an option to save your duplicate presentation. You can give a file name to the duplicate presentation in this file name name, in the file name line and then select where you want to save it. For instance, if you want to save it in documents, click on save and you can see that your duplicate presentation file is now being saved. As you can see with this green bar, once it gets saved, it will tell you about the duplicate presentation and also ask you whether you want to open the duplicate presentation so that you can work on it. So there'll be a box which asks your choice if you want to open the duplicate presentation. It gives you that choice and tells you about the duplicate presentation. So you can click on OK. The, it says the presentation minimizer has successfully updated the presentation and it gives you the name that you had selected. Click on OK and you can see in the title bar the new name of the duplicate presentation is available and you can now work with your duplicate presentation and do whatever changes you want to make. So this is how you will use the minimize presentation option. Since this class will end here, all of you close your impress file and properly shut down the computer. In today's class, you all revised and practiced what you had learned in the previous class like expand slide, summary slide, animated image, object, movie and sound, line, area, text, spelling and color replacer etc. Computer Shiksha is supported by Thank you.